And then, you know, it's a half hour drive from there to Heber, and then it's probably another half hour just on this dirt road because you, know, you got to go a lot slower. And how many days into the contract were you at this point on the, on the 5th? Well, we we'd, uh, worked on the contract a great deal and much of it had already been cut, but uh, much of the uh, allotted time had already elapsed. So we were, we were under pressure on the deadline and we'd extended our working hours. We were, you know, coming out earlier and working late later to try to get it all done before the snow came. So uh, that's the reason that we were working right up till dark every night. Right in there. And Steve, how did you become involved with the, with the job? My dad passed away and we moved to Snowflake because all my dad's family lived up there. And my, I had some relatives that was working for Mike, and they got me the job. I had, um, they quit like a couple days before. That's why we got so behind, so far behind because we had three people quit at the same time. And had you had much logging experience? No, um, this was this was all new to me. because I was raised in, in Mesa in the valley. And how old were you in, at the time? 17. So you um, were the youngest one on the, on the group? Yes, ma'am. Um, Mike thought I was 18, but And I, that's how you got the job? Yeah. You had to be 18? Yeah. Interesting. A lot of this drive looks the way it looked back then, but then there's other parts that have been changed by the fact that people have built homes along here. And also, the fire came so close to burning into the town of Heber that, you know, that far hillside we see there, it's bare, was, was covered with trees back then. And, you know, the farther we go, the more we'll get into uh, the parts of the forest that were burned up during the famous Rodeo Chetiskai fire, which uh, burned up over half a million acres of uh, forest. At that time, it was the biggest uh, recorded uh, fire in Arizona history. Then we had a bigger one here just a couple of years ago. And what year was that original fire? Well, I think it was in 90-something. Uh, Probably about years ago when uh, Steve's uh, daughter had uh, expressed some curiosity about what happened. Well, I broke my neck and and we were watching the movie. I knew the movie was out when it came out in 93, but I never watched it until 2008. Well, it was more like 2009. And we watched it and I told my daughter, that's me, and Henry Thomas is me. And she goes, well, how come they changed your name? And I just said, I don't know. And that's when um, we got on the, the computer and found Travis's website. And I showed, see, that's, that's me in that picture. And I snagged it. But my, my uh, Facebook at the time was called, was called Bubba Pierce because I didn't want to use my real name. And then Travis came on and knew some, somehow he knew someone grabbed a picture, grabbed that picture, and he started talking to me. And I, he's, and uh, I says, I told him, I says, my name's not Bubba, this is Steve. <laughs> oh, that's who I'm talking to. <laughs> and Travis says, well, you don't look like no Bubba. <laughs> At first, I was scared to use my real name. <laughs> he, he was kind of lying low, uh, <laughs> as far as the media is concerned. And I think of most of the crews kind of taking that 
uh, I think wisely to just uh, avoid all the controversy and not and not draw attention to the fact that uh, they were a part of this uh, event.